in this video uh, I will discuss about the derivation of indirect utility function uh, indirect indirect utility function in case of the leontief type of preferences or in case of perfect complementary goods uh, let us suppose that uh, the simplest let us suppose the simplest case of the leontief preferences utility x1 x2 equals to minimum x1 x2 so this will give rise to the l shift in different curve and and deriving the indirect utility function in this case in this case also is a two step procedure in the first step we find the optimal amount of x1 and x2 that the consumer uh, is willing to purchase as a function of prices and income or in other words we find the Marshallian demand function so Marshallian demand functions XLPW and then we substitute this in the utility function so substitute XPW in UX utility function and this gives us the indirect utility function so now let us do that uh, so we know that uh, to derive the demand function in this case uh, we we cannot use the Lagrangian multiplier principle instead we use the fact that along this ray along this ray uh, here x1 always equals x2 so if the utility function were minimum of ax1 bx2 then along the ray ax1 uh, is always equal to bx2 now here the uh, value of a and b both are 1 so uh, we use the condition x1 equals to x2 and we we substitute this in the budget constraint p1 x1 plus p2 x2 equals to total wealth equals to total wealth and this is p1 x1 plus p2 x1 is well so this is x1 equals w over p1 plus p2 similarly the value of x2 x2 will be w over p1 plus p2 because w1 because x1 and x2 are equal in this case so now we substitute uh, this uh, quantities of x1 and x2 so these are these are also called the Marshallian demand functions the Marshallian demand functions x1 which is a function of price and income is w over p1 plus p2 and the Marshallian demand function for the second commodity which is also function of price and wealth or income is w over p1 plus p2 and we now substitute this in the utility function to get the indirect utility function so we substitute this in the utility function x1 x2 and this becomes utility uh, utility sorry uh, this equals minimum x1 x2 so now this becomes utility x1 pw this becomes x2 x2 pw equals minimum so this is x1 is w over p1 plus p2 uh, and this is uh, w over p1 plus p2 so this is nothing but uh, vpw 
uh, and the since both quantities are equal the minimum of the two quantities will be any one of them so this is the indirect utility function in case of our example we can also verify the properties of the indirect utility function in this case uh, the the properties of the indirect utility function the, the first property the first property is that uh, the indirect utility function the indirect utility function is always or is strictly increasing in wealth so this is the strictly greater than zero and uh, if we differentiate uh, v in our case in this case with respect to w we get 1 over p1 plus p2 which is strictly positive the second property of the indirect utility function is it is homogeneous of degree zero so what is what it says is that if we increase price and income by some lambda times uh, uh, v remains unchanged v remains unchanged so now let us let us increase w p1 and p2 by lambda times so this becomes lambda times w over lambda times p1 plus lambda times p2 this is simply w over p1 plus p2 because the lambda in the numerator and denominator gets cancelled so th this is nothing but the original v so the, th the, th the third property is that the indirect utility v is decreasing in price level so in other words del v over del p is less than zero so in our case we can differentiate the v function with respect to prices and uh, see that the derivative is in fact negative so now let us first find del v over del p1 so this is uh, and w is now a constant and we so differentiate p1 plus p2 raised power minus 1 with respect to p1 so this is uh, minus w times 1 over p1 plus p2 square 1 over p1 plus p2 square and then derivative of p1 is 1 so this is less than 0 so in fact we we use the chain rule here we first differentiate this expression with respect with respect to p1 plus p2 uh, we can express here it so derivative of p1 plus p2 raised to the power negative 1 with respect to p1 plus p2 and the derivative of p1 plus p2 with respect to p1 so this is minus 1 over p1 plus p2 square and its derivative is 1 so again again we can show that the derivative of v with respect to p2 is also negative uh, let us do that uh, del v over del p2 is simply as before uh, minus w over p1 plus p2 squared which is also negative uh, the, the fourth important property is that uh, the raise identity can be used to derive the Marshall in demand functions so the fourth property is raise identity so it says that the negative of the partial derivative of V with respect to some price 
uh, divided by the, uh, the, the derivative of v with respect to wealth will give us the Marshall in demand function. So now let us let us show that in case of both x1 and x2, this is true. Uh, in our case, uh, the indirect utility function, the indirect utility function is simply um, V and B P W is simply W over P1 plus P2. And now let us first uh, differentiate V with respect to P1 and with respect to W. Uh, so, so we, we calculated this derivative a few minutes ago and this is uh, w over p1 plus p2 squared and the derivative of v with respect to w is 1 over p1 plus p2 so there is a minus sign before that so so it results in uh, W over, so 1P1 plus P2 gets cancelled, W over P1 plus P2, this is nothing than, nothing than the Marshall in demand function for the first commodity. Similarly, we can partially differentiate V with respect to P2 and divide it by the partial derivative of v with respect to w and get so minus so as we did a few minutes ago the derivative of v with respect to p2 will be equal to minus w over p1 plus p2 squared over 1 divided by p1 plus p2 so this is again equal to w over p1 plus p2 which is nothing but the Marshall and demand function for the second commodity. So one last property of the uh, indirect utility function is that the the indirect utility function is continuous. Uh, we can see that this function this function is continuous.